All right, next up on our list of invasive woodland plants is the one, the only, buckthorn. So there's two species of buckthorn that you're gonna find in um, that are invasive in southern Minnesota and, and Iowa. One's gonna be European or common buckthorn. The other one's gonna be glossy. Uh, they mostly don't, it doesn't matter which one you have, but they're gonna both have these uh, real um, interesting traits. So buckthorn is dioecious, which means that there's separate female and male plants. This one over here is a female because of the berries. Um, they're dark black. Um, they persist all winter and they're gonna be all along the stem uh, or all along the branch of the plant. Uh, birds will pick these up. Uh, it'll make the bird go to the bathroom and help uh, spread the species, which was originally brought over for hedges um, and other horticultural purposes. So <clears throat> as you've probably heard, buckthorn gets its name uh, from a couple different um, a couple different traits. So uh, one thing you might notice with the buds is that you're gonna see a hoof um, a hoof type pattern on a lot of these plants uh, as they're starting to bud out. Um, another key feature is looking at the terminal uh, end of the branch, you're gonna see a thorn right in the middle there. Now most of uh, the buckthorns you're gonna be coming up with or seeing are gonna be mostly opposite. Uh, there could be a few on the branch that are what we call sub-opposite where it's just slightly below. Um, but looking for the buck uh, hoof on the uh, buds and looking for that terminal thorn is going to be one of your key ways to do it. Um, a lot of species of buckthorn, <clears throat> if you scrape it with a knife, uh, usually this only works on older branches, uh, you might find some coloring, some yellow or orange coloring on it. Um, a lot of times these will be mistaken for black cherry. Uh, black cherry kind of has similar looking like leaves, um, but since we're dealing with the winter time, this will be um, one of the ways you can, you can quickly find out is the berries will be all along the stem with black cherry will be mostly at the end. Um, and also you wouldn't see the coloration on the bark if you scrape it off. And of course you wouldn't see the thorns and the uh, buck shape. Uh, you'll also notice that in uh, black cherry, it's going to be alternate leaves along the branch. So just a few tips uh, to help you identify our big friend buckthorn. Uh, and there's one thing I forgot to me uh, mention because I'm an uh, agronomist as well. Um, there are soybean aphids uh, that uh, emerge from plants like this. They overwinter on this after they cause havoc in farm fields. And the... Um, the aphids will lay eggs kind of on the um, right along the buds here in this little crevice uh, where they're protected more or less. Um, but yes, multiple uh, problems that this plant can cause.